Welcome to a special Saturday edition of Moments Off the Mat. We have Thomas Gilman, who made some waves yesterday uh, on Twitter with an announcement moving or heading to Penn State. Um, thanks for coming on. How are you doing right now? I'm doing good, doing good. Thanks for having me. Okay, good. Um, so can you just talk us through a little bit of what's been developing over the last week or so um, at the Hawkeye Wrestling Club? Yeah, so I can't really uh, hit on too much. You know, I don't, I don't know, like, you know, too much uh, – going on with Perry or, or the girls, you know, I just been sifting through some of my own personal, personal things. So, um, just, I'll just talk about, talk about me. Um, yeah, so the, the whole COVID-19 kind of threw a wrench in everything, you know, obviously, you know, I was planning on going through the cycle and, and making the team and, and winning the Olympics, you know, here with the Hawkeye wrestling club. And then after, after the Olympics, probably looking to, um, make a change as far as, uh, location, um, nothing personal, just uh, just moving moving on a little bit, you know. Obviously, people know my fiance is from out east, so that was that a, a little bit of a pull. Um, so then just kind of I don't know. You have a lot of time to think and evaluate things, and we got about 16, 15, 16 months till the Olympics. So I'll just try to put myself in the best position to to be an Olympic gold medalist, and and um, you know, not saying that I couldn't do it here, not saying I couldn't do it, you know anywhere else or Penn State or, you know, I'll do it in my basement, you know, but um, I just feel like this is a good opportunity for me to, to grow my wrestling and grow my mind and grow as a person and kind of step step outside my comfort zone. And like I said, it's nothing personal. It's it's just personal for me to, to for my development. And yeah. Yeah. So did you make this decision at this point in time because Perry left Hawkeye Wrestling Club or does that have anything to do with it? Um, I, I mean, obviously it has something to do with it right um me and perry have got a huge a very good relationship you know that we've developed in the last three years and and that one hurts i mean that one really hurts that um that we couldn't make that work and, and there's some some things we're trying to finagle you know to keep us together but at the end of the day i had you know i had to couldn't couldn't make this decision based on emotions it had to be based on based on logic and i kind of made a spreadsheet and i was like well perry's going to arizona state and you know nothing to get nothing against their program, you know, um, but that, that would be the reason I'm going is for Perry. And that was like the one, the one reason. And, uh, you know, we talked about staying here and it just wasn't, this wasn't going to work. And then I was looking at Penn state as well and some other places too. And I was just like, well, man, you know, it's just, it adds up there and not there or here. So, um, there's a lot of emotion that goes into it. Right. But it wasn't an emotional or rash decision. It, it didn't have anything to do with anything other than me personally, you know, in my development. So when did you find out about Mark leaving? Um, we kind of, I I couldn't even put a day on it or when, Mm -hmm. um, but I know, oh man, how do I want to say this? I kind of had a feeling, right. Or an inkling that, that he was, kind of wanting to move on or, or, or make a change just for his, his personal development too. Uh, Cause he's in a, in a role where uh, he's an RTC coach and they don't, they don't really get as much attention as, um, you know, maybe a volunteer coach or, um, you know, an assistant coach. And I know his ambitions are to be, be the best. His ambition is to be a, a head coach one day. And it just, he was, he wasn't really getting that much attention. So he needed to kind of get in a different role you know, to, to further his career really. So, um, I don't know when I found out, but it really wasn't a big surprise, but the biggest surprise for me was, oh man, like, <laughs> like we got to make this work. We gotta, we gotta stay together, man. Like, like we started this thing together, you know, we got to finish it and he wanted to see it out too. And, and, uh, just because it's not, we're not together physically doesn't mean we can't finish this cycle together. You know, I mean, we, we're going to converse and, you know, everyone's so caught up in, and rivalries, you know, I'm going to Penn State, and oh, what? I don't, I don't, I don't think about it like that. I'm not going to Penn State to, to shove it up Iowa or anything like that. I love Iowa. I'm a hawk. Always be a hawk. But you know, it's just another chapter, you know. And if if I went to, you know, somewhere else, it wouldn't be that big of a deal. And just because I'm at Penn State doesn't mean Mark and I can't have a good relationship and talk and talk about film together or, you know, bounce ideas off each other and, and train together too, you know. Who knows? Maybe he comes out to Penn State. I go out to Arizona State. Who knows? You know, mm-hmm. so just because it's a, you know, a rivalry doesn't doesn't 
I, I don't think about it like that. That's childish. Like all these people are saying, oh, you're a traitor. I don't know. Maybe, maybe I am. Who, who knows? But um, I don't, I don't get caught up in that. So we'll, we'll finish the cycle together regardless. Yeah. So I, I know it's early in the decisions, obviously from both you and Mark. So what does that look like for you guys finishing out the cycle together? on opposite side of the country. <laughs> uh, yeah, just kind of just staying in contact. You know, he, he's a, he's got a wrestling mind and as do I, obviously, you know, so you can get a lot from just talking with people, you know, or, you know, the COVID-19 has presented a lot of opportunities to, to get creative so we can watch film and talk about film or I can send him my film and he can tell me what he thinks, you know, um, you know, stuff like that. Or, or we can watch, you know, it's no different than, you know, watching film on the Russian and then talking about it, you know, in person, you know, we can both watch it, you know, or we can have a zoom meeting and watch the film on that. I'm not sure how that works. I'm sure I can talk to you guys and, and you guys can get a set up with that. But, uh, that, that's what it's going to look like, you know, just cause you can't get on the mat and hands on each other doesn't mean you can't, can't collaborate and, and get things done that way. Yeah. So did you have, I guess, when did your conversations with Penn state start? as far as you heading over there. And I guess, could you dive in a little bit more into the reasoning of why Penn State over somewhere else? Um, that's kind of a, a confusing question because I don't really know the answer to that question because it's kind of been a little bit of a, a surreal um, thing. Like th things just kind of start adding up um, along the way. Obviously, you know, going back to 2017, Rutherford and I were, were roommates all summer, you know, so we, I kind of developed that relationship with him and then being at camp with, with these guys, you know, being on multiple teams with, with Kyle and, and going on trips with David and, and it just, and this, it just kind of clicks, you know, and then, you know, I'm sure they had a lot to do with me getting there, you know, and I'm sure they were, you know, talking to their coaches. Um, and yeah, it just kind of transpired and, I kind of threw out some things and they threw out some things and then we're here. Yeah. You know? So it was, it was kind of, it wasn't like a conversation or multiple conversations started here and ended here. It probably started back in 17 and nobody knew it. Who would have thought in 2017 that I end up at Penn state who thought yesterday I ended up in state college, you know, it's, it just, things just happen. You know, I don't, I don't have an answer for that. It just, it's just the way it is. Yeah. So I'm assuming that you're in Iowa right now. Yep. Yep. Okay. So what's your plan um, as far as when you get to Penn State? Um, I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out right now. You know, I've contacted realtors on both ends and just trying to get um, this place sold and then buy a place or rent a place in State College and and do that kind of, you know, over the Internet or over the phone because, I mean, we can't really do much right now. You know, we got to be responsible citizens and, and do our part to, to keep this thing um, under control as far as the virus. So as soon as things kind of loosen up and it's socially acceptable, acceptable to kind of get moving around, that, that's when we'll do it. But I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna push it. You know, I, I'm, you know, I'm right there with the rest of us. I'm not sure what to do. You know, as far as this whole social distancing, but just trying to do my part. And I don't want to um, put anybody at danger. Let's say that. Right, right. Um, can you talk just a little bit about the Penn State room and the guys that you'll potentially have as partners, leading you into 2021 Olympic year. Right. Yeah, for sure. Uh, I think the biggest thing is, well, obviously partners is a big thing. Um, but the bigger thing is, along with partners is just the mentality of, of the, of the, of the club. And I'm not, I'm not, that's not a knock on our, on the Hawkeye wrestling club. Cause we have good mentality here too. But the thing I was kind of missing was that little bit of camaraderie guys that are, that are at that level and seeking to be world Olympic champions and, and um, just kind of grinding with those guys every day and not grinding in a physical sense, but a mental sense and just sharpening that, that mental aspect of my, of my, of my game. And, and just, um, just trying to learn from those guys too. Um, so I obviously I'll have a lot of partners, you know, they got a couple young guys coming in that are, that are scrappy and obviously I have Rutherford and, and those guys and, and Nick Lee and Roman Bravo young. And, you know, so, um, people are like, well, well, you're not gonna have the partners there. And I just kind of sit back. I'm like, oh, okay, really, really, let's, let's really think about that. I'm not gonna have the partners there. Um, <laughs> it's just kind of funny how people use these arguments to try to make me look stupid or something. It's like, it's not a stupid decision. You know, if it, if it is, it's my stupid decision. It's mine, you know, it's nobody else's. It had nothing to do with anybody else other than me and my development in the sport of wrestling. So I'm excited to get in that room and, and, and learn and, 
and uh, yeah, maybe expose some weakness, some more weaknesses of mine, and uh, and just get rolling and, and win that Olympic gold medal. Yeah. Um, obviously, you said once a hawk, or like you, you're a hawk, you will always be a hawk. So obviously, there's no disloyalty there or anything like that. So can you maybe just take a minute to kind of look back on your time in Iowa and just what they've done for you and kind of share a little bit about how you feel about the Iowa wrestling team? Yeah, yeah. I'll, I mean, there, there's no animosity here. There's there's no, there's no hard feelings, no nothing, you know. It's, um, there, I mean, it's just nothing. I have no ill feelings, you know. I, um, the you know, it's sad, you know, it's, it's not a freaking easy decision to do it, you know, but it's not, but sometimes when you just don't move or you don't make a decision, then you're, you're getting stagnant. And I felt maybe I was getting a little stagnant. Um, so I need to make a move, you know, and that's nothing against the program. That's nothing against Tom or Terry or anybody. Um, but I think that, I mean, obviously they gave me a lot. I mean, I've developed, I've cut my teeth here. You know, I, uh, I learned how to, how to wrestle that Iowa style. I learned a lot from Tom and Terry. Um, they gave me pretty much everything. You know, they, I came here as a young kid and, and I didn't really know what the heck was going on in the world. And they set me straight and, and uh, taught me really what it meant to be a man in, in a lot of different ways. Um, so I've, I've nothing bad to say about the program. You'll never get me to say anything bad about the program. So if I have something bad to say, I'll call Tom Brands or drive over to his house. I'll say it to his face. I mean, and, but there is nothing bad to say. And he's the same way. He has nothing bad to say about me. And if he did, he'd be at my doorstep. So, um, yeah. And, and just beyond that, I think I've given a lot back to the program too. You know, it's not just a one way street. It was a good relationship. I gave a lot to these fans and um, I just asked these fans that are kind of mother effing me right now just to kind of just sit back and just reflect on the good times we've had and um the things that you've given me as fans and and things i've given you because i've been nothing but loyal to this program and uh you know for you to you know say that i'm disloyal or i'm a traitor that's really not fair um to me or you or you know the speaking of the fans so um yeah i have nothing nobody's gonna get me to say anything bad about the program um, I want to move on to just COVID-19 a little bit and the effect that it's had on the world and especially wrestling. Um, whenever, whenever you first heard, obviously we knew postponement or cancellation was looming. When you heard the postponement um, was happening, that it was going to be the next year, what, what was your initial thoughts? What the heck? Um, I did, well, you know, I'm just kind of, I got my head in the sand sometimes, you know, with the, with some of this stuff, but um, I didn't think it was too bad. I didn't understand. I said, just keep postponing it until things look better, you know? I, but I don't understand the logistics of any, any of that. You know, that's beyond my pay grade, obviously. Um, but then, you know, I was talking to Perry and, and we're like, hey, we were ready to go April in April. You know, we are ready to go. We were ready to make that team. And then we were ready to win the Olympics in, in, in August. Um, but then he, he, he took a step back and said, but imagine how much more ready to go will be a year from now. Mm-hmm. And that's the positive aspect of it. Cause everyone's like, Oh, well, it's another year of training. Isn't that what you want? Isn't that what you do it for? Isn't that what we need it, is, you know, you can always use just a little more time, one more day, one more year, one more week. Um, so yeah, I'm excited to get one year better and one year more mature and one year just that much more ornery and ready to go because now it's 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 it, it's still upon us it's always upon us but i'm excited that, that it got postponed because it gives us gives us time to reflect and really um solidify the things that we do good and and expose some weaknesses in our minds and our bodies and yeah it doesn't bother me too much you got to find the positive and maybe i'm delusional i'm just not op- optimistic person but that's the way i look at it yeah, so will your, I mean, I don't know if you've made plans yet, but will your your plan kind of reflect what this year was supposed to be like for you as far as like when competitions happen and, and that kind of thing, considering that the dates are very similar next year? Yeah, I mean, next year's going to look the same for me. You know, obviously I'm going to have to sit down with the with my new coaches and um, I'm excited for that and kind of put together a plan, but I, I would like to do something very similar that I did this year because I felt really good. Uh, I started my season kind of, you know, I didn't really have the results that I, that I really wanted, but I was kind of, I don't know why that was, you know, it, there's a reason for it, but as the season progressed and it started to get down to that championship season, let's say the postseason with the, with Italy and, 
Canada, you know, I, I, I was clicking. I was, I was really clicking. I felt good just mentally, physically. I was just, you know, I was right there, you know, so if I can just do that same thing next year, just, I feel good about that. Yeah. So, um, trials would have happened last weekend had everything stayed on schedule. What were you doing last weekend? Um, I don't know, probably the same thing I'm doing this weekend, just kind of hanging out. I think I had a, a fire, you know, in the backyard. I've been doing a lot of fires in the backyard, just trying to spend a lot of time outside now that it's getting nicer out. Um, yeah, my days don't really change, you know, it's just kind of, you know, get some work done around the house and some spring cleaning that, you know, has been needing done, to say the least. It's been neglected around here and, and spend some time with the dogs and fiance and and that's that's probably what I was doing. I don't I don't really think about the dates too much. You know, now that you say it, I probably should have maybe wrote my notes and said, oh, this is when I should be competing. But I don't, I don't think about it too much. Yeah. Um, anything else that you want to say on your current situation, your transitioning and all that? Uh, no, just uh, super excited to, to get out to Pennsylvania and, and get get rolling, just getting with these guys, get in the room and get scrapping again and, and uh, keep developing relationships. And, and yeah, and I hope that, um, you know, I can still come back to Iowa City without, um, without people throwing a riot. And, and yeah, just, uh, I feel good. I feel good. You know, I feel good about my decision. I feel good with the direction I'm going. So there, there's no questions, you know, I, I'm, I'm full steam ahead. All right. Awesome. Well, thanks for joining us. I appreciate your time. Yeah. Thanks for having me. Awesome. Thanks.